John Landy was running the finals in the 1956 Australian National Championship when Ron Clark, one of his friends and competitor, fell. Landy knew it, so he ran back and helped Clark up. Clark assured him that the injuries is okay and urged him to continue. Landy astonished the 22,000 spectators when he chased down the field which is hundreds of meters away. Amazingly, he not only won the championship, but the hearts of the world. Jesus set a perfect example of his love to the world by helping us to know what love really is before he died on the cross. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is Jesus care for the weeping woman. Jesus was so scorched and beaten that he could not carry his own cross. He fell in front of some women. They wept for his plight and conditions. But Jesus urged him not to weep for him, but for themselves. Because Jesus knew that the Romans would invade the land and would kill many people. Jesus cared for the people in Jerusalem more than himself on his road on the cross. The second thing I've learned is Jesus loves his enemies. Jesus demonstrates how to love our enemies on the cross. Even though they mocked him, beat him up and put him on the cross, and even dividing his clothes in front of him, Jesus prayed for his excursionists and also the crowd, asking God to hold, not to hold the sins against them. Jesus recognized the spiritual blindness in his prayer and present his enemies the best possible light to the God the Father. The third thing I've learned is Jesus loves every lost soul. There are two criminals that are crucified with Jesus on that day, one on the left and one on the right, but they have different opinions about Jesus. One mocked Jesus, the other plead Jesus to remember him when he died. Jesus ensured the repentant sinner that he will be with him in paradise and not in hell. Jesus used the last moment of his life to save every last soul that he can grab hold of. My application today is both Jesus and Landy have mindsets of caring for others around them more than themselves. This is a kind of love that the world admired but would not understand. The other focused mindset is love in action. Jesus, in his dying moments, in a tortured moment, disregard his own sufferings and care for the people around them. Therefore, as his followers, we must be intentional to focus on others rather than ourselves. My prayer today is, Lord, make me a servant like you. Help me to destroy my own ego and help me to follow you. Help me to love and to care for others with the love of Jesus each day. In your name we pray. Amen.